Peace, philosopher study, uh, open study number one, Mawa Olodumari, my son Malik Shakur Olodumari. I think we're gonna be contemplating on 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 faith. It just kind of came to me while I sleep just now, so I'm gonna expound on it. I might say things out loud as I'm thinking things out. It's not a lesson. It's just an open study. Um, but knowing that my son is listening and things like that, you know, I might be prone to teach my son on the thing or two. What's up, man? My man, focus. All right, son. All right. So when we was in the room, we was talking about faith. Yeah, get a little racist. Um, we gotta talk about faith. We was talking about faith. Now you remember, I don't know if I actually told you. Oh, let me get this together. I don't know if I actually told you what we, you know, what faith actually was. Faith is is confidence. Confidence is the knowing is the knowing of the end result without even getting there yet. Faith is the substance of what things hold for, the evidence of things not yet seen. That's exactly what it is. It's, it's that drive to continue to go towards that thing that you're manifesting, that thing that you're creating, that uh, omni force that's beyond. See, faith is in shows itself in a lot of different ways through a lot of di a lot of different means. You can have faith in yourself as you should have faith in yourself. Yes, you have faith in Olodumare. These things mean you have confidence in these things. You have confidence in yourself. You have confidence in Olu Dumari. You have confidence that your car will start and go. You have confidence that the very swing that you're sitting in is going to support your weight. You got to watch that boy because you're getting heavy. <laughs> so, when we think of faith, we have to kind of demystify it a little bit to understand its daily um, applications. Faith in your ability to do the work that you have to do. Faith in the ability that you will overcome the conflict that you have at your job. Faith in the ability that uh, things are going to get better even though they don't look better at the moment. These are things that you have confidence in. Where that confidence, where you draw that confidence is up to the person. We say Olu Dumari. Our Christian's brothers say Jesus. Whatever. The point of it is, is the actual act of confidence. So this is what is this is what it is when you say the Christian faith, the Muslim faith, the Ifa faith, the Moa faith. It's the Christian confidence, the Muslim confidence, the Ifa confidence, the Moa confidence. This is why Yahshua, when he said, "When you see me, you see the Father," that's how much faith that he had in himself and in his knowledge and and of his understanding. Excuse me. Had yeah, faith in his knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the, the the faith in who he actually was. So much that he said, "When you see me, you see the Father." We say that same thing. When you see me, you see my Father. In our culture, we mean that on multiple levels. You see Olodumari, you see our Orisha. But first and foremost, they're going to see your father. Iyabai. Just as I see my father. I was just talking to him yesterday. 
when I was doing the interview. I spoke to Obatala, the wisdom within myself, to guide my tongue. But before everything got started, I put my picture of my father. I said, Obatala is the Norisha, but you my daddy, bruh. So when you see me, you see my father. Confidence, faith in the things that he taught me to make me into the man that I am today. We have faith in Olodumari because he, he provided the uh, experiences to test the ancestral knowledge to find out that it's truth. And along the way, things had to even get discarded because we're scientific in the sense that we will uh, 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 test the things that, that we have been taught from our elders and from our ancestors. Just to ensure that the knowledge that they have given us isn't for a specific time period or needed to be tweaked in a certain way or this, that, and the third. This is... Ooh. The 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 veneration of your ancestor son is a more of a baton race. We run with the baton for as long as we can. We run with this chalk for as long as we can. We philosophers. We run for as long as we can. <coughs> and while we running, we're coming with discoveries, new things, new new ideas. Or new ways to think about current ideas. Whatever the case may be. We're, 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 we're uh, living our life through our chalk, through our pen, through our writings, through our thoughts and prayers and mullings of life. Consciously. But it's going to be a time where I am, a half, I am going to have to pass this chalk on to you. When this chalk is passed on to you, you continue running. What a lot of our brothers and sisters are doing right now, they're, 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 they're venerating their ancestors in a way that they're running in a carousel. They got the chalk in doing this. But we get the chalk and we move forward. We don't need to run in circles because we already have the knowledge. Now it's time for us to apply said knowledge, add our own knowledge. I'm going to add my own uh, new discoveries of thought and things like that to pass on to you. Wisdom is knowledge applied. I'll be the example of the wisdom that I've applied. I'm going to pass it to you and you take it even further because you're learning it even sooner. You get me? So to have faith. So what, matter of fact, so what happens when a child doesn't have faith in the wisdom that his father has given him? Because we are all Traveling this path of wisdom. We got to de-holify the word wisdom. Wisdom in our culture is knowledge. Apply. That's what wisdom is. Knowledge applied. And the thing is, it doesn't matter what knowledge it is, whatever knowledge you apply will become the wisdom for the knowledge that was just applied. Uh, whether those fruits of said knowledge is positive or negative, that's irrelevant. But the knowledge that you have, the, the knowledge that you possess will be what you apply to create the wisdom that you are going to live out. So be sure 
that you're getting proper wisdom. Be sure you're getting wisdom from people who love you. Excuse me. What's up, baby boy? Everyone. We back. So, knowledge is wisdom applied. Whatever knowledge it is, is going to be the wisdom for that person. So, in in, in, a, in a very real way, ignorant wisdom does exist. I guess that's the perfect time to stop right now and take 10 to my boy. I'm going to highlight y'all.